Manhattan and you're watching like that. Listen, mate, you can go proud of Manhattan. You've got a great team there. 100%. That first knock. That was fine. You've got any after because you fucking stink. Sure. Nah. <laughs> don't scare me that much. <laughs> you're running at the next way in, uh, Terry. What? Well, at the next way in, you're the one who's got to do the running with him. I don't want to. If he goes a pound over. Terry's right, fucking up work, deal. mate. No, <laughs> next time he's coming, too. <laughs> yeah. 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 You can do the hill. Yeah. It's the fifth, isn't it? I don't know what it is. What's your name there, please? Do you have any idea? Um, um, Dr. Henry. No, still dry up a bit. He's still sweating, so just wait a minute. Can you um, send that to me, please? Can you send that to me, please? Feel good? Huh? Feel good? Nice, man. Just chill in there. Yeah. I'm bad. Two years ago, they said he was finished. Come on. He said, even he, even he said that in the first place, he goes, oh, I thought you finished that. And I told him straight up, I said, listen, like, is that on? Yeah, I do. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, it's cool. Um, I, I listened to him later, like, I had some like, personal stuff at, at home, innit? Yeah. You know I mean? So, obviously, yeah. if anyone has personal stuff like that, they can't really perform and yeah, yeah, yeah. find that, do you know what I mean? But, Kept it on, you didn't get drawn in. Listen, listen. Yeah. I'll put it this straight like here. Yeah. If anyone watched the first fight here, yeah, go on YouTube and watch it and you see the way he came in with his backhand and he headbutted me and that's when I was dazed and I was gone. Like I said, if anyone hits you with base or back, you've got to see all stars and you're ready to go anytime. And basically, look at that, he hit me with his best shot like here. Yeah. Man is not even strong enough like that. Yeah, no, but listen. Well done. After all that, you deserved it. Come on. All your career, man. Well done. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh, no. um, um, what do you come at you, Dee? Yeah. Thank you for a good fight. What do you come at you? Congratulations, the new Commonwealth champion. How does it feel to be the new Commonwealth champion? Yeah, um, it feels nice that, um, yeah, I'm a Commonwealth champion, but it feels nice now that I've got a great team behind me and that uh, with me. And um, I'm more composed and I listen. Now, I put a little tweet out um, today, I will work out and I must, and um, that's me listening to my team and having the support. You know, sometimes I run away, but yeah, it feels good to be a champion. <laughs> How would you overall assess your performance tonight? Well, performance? Um, probably, um, I didn't really come out first gear really. Uh, I'd say my performance probably like six or something like that, six, seven like that, because like, I was just getting started really, like, like I said, um, he's, only, he's only there for a couple of rounds trying to him to, him to land that big shot um, and obviously with me I'm a 12 round fighter so anytime I could have just broken down but you have to use your, your brain a little bit sometimes. What did you do different in this fight than to the first fight with Arthur Nick Um This time I listened to the team and um, basically I didn't get hit by it. First fight I got hit by it, so uh, I was dazed. So I said, this time uh, I'm not gonna let that happen. Um, I'll make sure I keep my distance and I engage when I'm ready to obviously engage in. in. Um, like I said, um, if you've got a brick wall, instead of trying to knock it down, just take one brick at a time. Eventually it will wobble and fall over, just like what happened. Do you feel as if you've proved a lot of doubters wrong tonight by winning that Commonwealth title and coming through, which was a, what was a very tough fight? Um, yeah, not not a, a tough fight, but at the same time, I've showed from um, from the Lopez fight, I showed how hungry I was, and then um, when I fought um, Danny Cousins on the David Hay show, um, everyone said I was finished. Um, and next minute, all of a sudden, people were, like paying attention a little bit now, and um, only tonight, people got to witness just a little bit because I didn't come at first gear. I just kept it very controlled and most of all listened to the team and, and, and the main man and um, you know get, get the win really. Talk to us about the knockdown, two brilliant jabs and then bang, fantastic it was, absolutely brilliant to watch. Yeah it was good, um, I think I caught him, um, what round was that? I thought it was the fourth or fifth, fifth. fifth. I think it was the fifth. What round did he fall over? The fifth and he stopped me in the seventh. So, so basically round, round six that's when I put him down. Fifth, I think. And then, so round five, we made a round eight. Round five, we stopped. Oh, round, round five, he dropped on the floor. Obviously, I caught him with a good shot, and um, he got up just slightly, and obviously the, the bell saved him. And then I said to myself, you know, what? let me just um, ease off, um, not jump on him, because I knew eventually I'm going to get him. And um, before obviously 
we got put down on the ropes again here. He tried to hold me, so obviously I'm trying to create my space to throw my shot. Mm. It's not a wrestling match, you know. But, um, you know, he done what he had to do. He got Harvey, said his back's hurting. I hope he's okay. Um, gets recovered well. Like I said, the man's still an English champion, so people should still obviously root for him as well. And onwards and upwards now. And what does this do for you in terms of going forward for the rest of your career in 2019? For me, um, I'm happy that obviously I, I, I got a win, but like I said, everybody actually thought I was finished. Far from it. Um, like I said, yes, I'm 33, but I'm far from it. Everyone saw. Um, as moving on to 2018, I obviously let my manager and my coach and my team to um, decide where, what route to go. We, we may not fight anyone. Final question: How disappointing was it to see our final uh, fan base? act the way they did, throw a chair into the middle of the ring during the middle of a fight, you know, it's just really, really dampened the mood and put into what was a very, very good fight and how disappointing is it to see stuff yeah, like that happen in boxing? Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's very disappointing, like I said, um, York Hall is the famous place, um, York Hall, and um, to their fans to actually do that to him, you know, he's the English champion as well, they should have a bit of respect for him as well, and ideally he should obviously get in trouble as well, because that's his, that's his people, but... You know, sometimes you can't control his um, his group and that. He's um, but yeah, it's really, really, really sad to obviously them not to chuck a chair inside the ring. But you know. I thought security dealt with it really well. Though. Yeah, they shut it down. But it's one of the things you can't it's, change. It's you know? disappointing to see because yeah, know, it's the middle of a fight. That chair could have. Well. That that chair could have hit him. It could have hit off, and Nick yeah. could have hit it, the ref. It, it, you know, at the end of the day, like we we got the win very important for us what he's like in a different place now in his mind he's been with me two years just like two years now when he come with me I brought in the rest of the team I brought in Alex I brought in Lee and they've done a fantastic job in the strength and conditioning the train. So you. <laughs> me and him have done a great job in the gym you know it's been disciplined um, we, we work well together and I think you know now British title give him a crack you know he deserves his, he deserves his shot you know, he's far from finished at the moment, you know, so come on. Excellent. Yeah. Now, Wadi, listen, well done. Congratulations tonight on the victory. Um, I hope you enjoy a uh, very good Christmas and we look forward to seeing you back in 2019. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah, much appreciated. And a big respect to Mr. Rick Bell for being so respectful. Humble in defeat, yeah. Yeah, yeah, gentlemen, so, yeah. Also, you. big thanks as well. Massive thanks to my sponsors, T-Class Security, AEM Demolition, Lantern Recovery and Big Up Boxing for sorting this out. Team Camacho all the way. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Yeah, buddy. Yeah.